two, one, power up. Great timing, Chuck. Thanks for that. Look at the bees go. Using that swerve drive, wasting absolutely no time getting that cube on the switch. That is what you call programming, people. The Robo Jackets look like they just missed their switch. So now the bees, in an attempt to control the scale for as long as they possibly can, they go right for it. That is their first maneuver. The most point value per second is right there in the middle of the field, and they know that. So do the Robo Jackets. They're going up, and they're going to try to balance out the scale too, but it looks like they just missed it. And because of that, the killer bees are able to get another cube on the scale, owning it even more. It's going to take the Red Alliance more time to get possession of that scale if they're even able to at this point in the match. We have a minute and a half left, and the Red Alliance has a lot of ground to cover. They don't even have ownership of their own switch yet. Meanwhile, the Blue Alliance has control of the scale and of the switch with a whopping five cubes. Some might consider that overkill, but hey, it's their strategy, and it seems to be working. They've already racked up 155 points here at this point in the match. And again, the Blue Alliance doing a great job of that supporting role of getting cubes into that feeder station and the human player using their foot to get those rollers rolling on those really, really nice bearings. Uh, it doesn't even look like those rollers are ever stopping. They want to get those power-ups. They want to double up the rate of point accumulation that they have. The bees haven't done as well as they wanted to up to this point in the competition so far. And you can tell that they're coming back with a vengeance based on how effective they've been here in this match so far. We have 20 seconds left, and the bees are going to try and hang. They pull that winch, and they get up there. We got 12 seconds left. The Robo Jackets look like they're struggling a little bit to try and get a cube in their possession. Can they get it fed through the slot before time runs out? And unfortunately not, and that'll do it for this match.
And let's check out those scores. The Blue Alliance wins with 372 points. The yellow card that was given out in that game was a uh, human infraction, a human wait, safety infraction. Human player came onto the field before lights were green.